Coral reefs are diverse ecosystems where corals compete for light and space. Many factors are stressing the corals right now, and this compromises their health and their competitive edge against other organisms like algae. My name is Emma George, and I am a PhD candidate at the University of British Columbia. I did my master's at San Diego State University, and I study many aspects of coral reef ecosystems, including coral geometry and microbial ecology. Corals have to protect their border or perimeter from invading competitors like algae. And this actually requires energy, which they obtain through their surface by photosynthesis and feeding. This paper investigates which geometric properties influence coral competition against other reef organisms. I started this collaboration at San Diego State University and involved other institutions like Hermavi and Curacao. James Molinix, who's a PhD candidate at SDSU, and myself led the project along with SDSU professors Dr. Forrest Rower and Dr. Antoni Luque. We hypothesized that corals with more complex space-filling surfaces would actually be more effective at acquiring energy, while smaller perimeters would require investing less energy for defense. So we predicted that corals combining these two geometrical properties would be more successful. We used the method called photogrammetry to build 3D models of corals from images, and then we measured several geometric properties, including the perimeter length, surface area, and the space filling of both the surface and perimeter. Then we determined the fraction of the coral perimeter that was lost against a competitor like algae. This led us to develop new algorithms for measuring the space filling properties for both coral surfaces and their perimeters, as well as a new statistical learning approach to determine the most relevant geometric properties in coral competition. As we predicted, more complex surfaces and smaller perimeters were associated with corals that outcompeted other organisms like algae. Our findings indicate that the space filling surface and perimeter length metrics are really important for future coral studies. The technology to image 3D corals is becoming more accessible, which makes building 3D models of entire coral reef ecosystems possible. This method could also be used to determine how the space filling properties of corals change from the polyp to reef level, or even be applied to other ecological systems like forest ecosystems, which rely on surfaces for energy and share resources through biological networks. Understanding the influence coral geometry has on other ecological factors will help coral reef restoration. And by linking the space filling properties of corals to their resilience and their health, uh, we hope that our research will help the ongoing conservation efforts.